Stalper, come back or not? Hi, I've got Hi. Stalper here with me. How you doing? Great. Oh, you always look so adorable, I swear. These hats, honey, we got to tell them all about that later on in the show. Okay, well, <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you, too. Happy I hear, to be here with you. I hear we're having trouble keeping samples here. We are. We have had so many biscuits and so many crackers, so I ran out of biscuits. I brought you plenty of crackers, though. Thank you. Okay. I was like, if I don't get to eat today, <laughs> I'm going to throw a bed. We got jelly and preserves for you oh, and I mustard. I can't and wait. All kinds of good I stuff. I have been watching these other hosts on here presenting this. You should see, not just me, while we're up here selling, all the coordinators, everybody over here eating this. It's wonderful. <laughs> we're uh -huh. so excited. This and is our gourmet food line, A ta Taste of Life. A Taste of Life. And right. we've, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with preserves. Okay. And um, because I was looking at that, and that's the first one I wanted to have a bite of anyway. Okay. <laughs> Take a look. We're going to bring out our Taste of Honey. They are the preserves, and you're actually getting four huge jars of this. Right. Now, I've been telling That's them... 40 ounces altogether. They're 10-ounce jars. They're reusable jars. They're collectible. We c they're all natural. There are no preservatives in these at all. Yes. So I'm real proud of that fact. It's a secret family recipe that's handed down for <laughs> generations. I love that. I love that. You know, we're going to do, and you get all four of them, for only $19.75 free shipping on the deal minimal minimal oh no. minimal handling oh no stella <laughs> here we go the lips aren't working <laughs> Minimal handling is included, and these are all handmade. Right. We were talking about that. Matter of fact, we were opening, and we're going to open each of these jars. And let me tell you exactly what comes in this. You're going to get strawberry jam, cinnamon pear preserves, oh, they're apple so good. butter, and sunshine peach. That's right. I understood somebody almost ate a whole jar of one of these. We're not going to say who. We're not going to say Mel no. Arthur. No. <laughs> We'll just tell him. I think he had crumbs all over his face when we left the show uh, oh, last night. Oh, what a riot. Only $19.75, and you are going to get all four of them. We'll put the price up on the screen so you can start dialing in on the deal. Now, I wanna, Stella, tell us how this all came about. Well, I've been collecting recipes since I was about nine years old, and I am so happy to be able to offer this on the Home Shopping Club today. There are no preservatives in this food. All these berries and all this fruit and these herbs and everything, they're locally grown and they're packed and shipped right there from the peach and apple orchards where all the blackberries and everything are canned right there in open kettles the old fashioned way. They're packed that way and you're not going to get anything any closer to homemade unless you stand over the kettle and make it yourself and then you got to have the knack for it to know when to take it off the stove just right so it has the right consistency. We've done all that for you. Yeah. And, then, you know, and that's what I liked what you were telling me me last night we were talking or the night before last right. talking about how it's right there in the oysters it's right, right. there in the open kettle they're just not like shipped in we have complete uh, quality control because the agricultural department supervises all of this so it's just all just like you would do it at home yeah so everything is grown right there so you don't have to worry about whether you were bringing in things from other places That's right uh, it's all done right there now, in the, uh, foothills of the smokies and foothills of the smokies i'll tell you you know and you we were talking to, you know, you said you have 11 brothers and sisters, right. and that you were saying, oh, I laugh. You're not you going to tell them. I right? am going to tell her. <laughs> you're sitting there talking about, now tell them what you were telling us about those blackberries and what you were doing. <laughs> oh, I was saying that, you know, Daddy used to uh, take the dogs into the blackberry patch and uh, run all the copperhead snakes out, because living in the mountains, you know, you have to watch for snakes. Then he would let us go in with our uh, berry buckets and pick blackberries, but when we'd get back to the house, they'd say, Stel, did you pick any berries? And I'd say, well, well, yeah, but uh, there were no berries in my bucket because I ate them all. <laughs> <laughs> you and Alice Cleveland talking about eating those yeah. life And you said that you, your mama would do uh, the canning and that right. she would do the oh, preserves Oh, would you like me to tell that little story? Do tell about that. There were so many kids in my family that th there were lots of little baby food jars around. So one year when I was about nine, I decided that I would can daddy some blackberries out of mama's batch. <laughs> 
So I took these little baby food jars and I made all this beautiful jelly and jam and everything. And so I would insist at supper, that's what we call dinner time, that he ate my jelly and jam. And he would always tell my mother, Abby Lee, Stella's jelly is so much better than yours. And I thought he was really telling the truth because <laughs> I had candid especially for him and it came out of her batch. Right. So yeah, I, tell, I thought that was the cutest story. Isn't that I a said, sweet story? That it, and that's what daddies are for. That's right. And I can't believe that he had so enough time to think that I needed that special attention. Sure. And that may be where, you know, I had that instilled in me, the confidence that I was a good cook. Mm -hmm. And that gave me more of a love for cooking and sharing because I feel like that through great recipes and sharing great food, I've uh, made more friends than in any other thing, even with my music. You know, you can sit and talk. You and I can sit here and talk mm -hmm. about great food. And we all love to eat and we all love to eat great food. And I'm so excited and proud that we can offer this wonderful food here that has no preservatives in it. It's been canned for you the old-fashioned way, so we can guarantee that it's sterile. Uh, just like the, the tops of these cans, see how these cans do this? Oh, yeah. Oh, this All is, of these the are naturally top. sealed, yes. So, so, so we can it guarantee opened, that it's fresh tell. without adding preservatives to kind of... And you know. we were talking about the jars. I mean, I love them. I mean, I would right. like to have those. Like you said, you would even put things, you have them outside right. or put flowers in them right. or even use them as drinking glasses That's like right. they used to do with the old mason That's jars right. and everything. I'll tell you something, you won't believe how good it is. Uh, I have been trying and sneaking taste as much as I could. And matter of fact, where have you, you guys have some that you're going to open up. I'd like you to show you. There I'm going to let you try old... some of this um, cinnamon paper. Air preserves. Yes. Can you talk with your mouth full? Oh, are you kidding? Your mom I, can't, I, 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 I was. I could learn to talk. I don't know where I learned that. My mom and I talk at the same time and understand each other. Cuts down on time. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now look at this whole chunks ah. right here. Whole whole chunks of pears there. Mm. Can I, what if you just lick the preserves off? Can you, well, do, you can do that? <laughs> you can but do you'll that. notice that this has a lot of flavor in it. It's not mm. like frozen pears or pr frozen berries that uh, that have been mm. cooked in big vats in these factories. These are small, simmered uh, oh. in open kettles, small batches, so it's guaranteed fresh. It's guaranteed to be the original recipe. Ooh, you know what I'd almost like? You know, I almost taste like a filling or something right, that like you'd want to put into a pie. Right, a pear pie or something. Yes! Apple pie. You want to try the apple pie? Oh, I do. I'm going to eat this one first, though. <laughs> first of all, you have to keep walking. <laughs> you know what? Uh, we do see. have callers calling in. Oh, I'll let you guys talk while I eat. Okay, How's let that? me talk. Hi, you're live on the air with Stella Parton. Who's this? Hello? Hi, caller. Are you there? Oh, heck, hon. I'll try. But I must have punched the wrong button. I do that oh, a lot. Oh, that's all right. Hi, you're live on the air with Stella Parton. Who's this? This is Kay from Michigan. Mm, hi, oh. Kay. Hi. How hi, are Kay. you? Hi. I'm from Tennessee originally, and all this stuff just really brings back memories of home for me. <laughs> well, did you order a big batch of this? Yes, I did, and I ordered some yesterday, Stella. Oh, good. Mm. I can't wait for you to get it and let us know what you think. Oh, honey, I just know it'll be real good. I was reading the autobiography of Ralph Emery the other day, and he said something about muscadine preserves, and I thought I would just die. I said, I'll never eat any more of them again, but now you make them. <laughs> you will have some now. You know, I was telling them earlier today... Uh, on the show that uh, I was telling Terry that these are locally grown muscadines are wild grapes that grow in trees and who wants to climb up a tree find their own muscadines and make it when you can order it yourself well I used to do that when I was a kid because I'm from Waverly Tennessee oh well then you know where they come from I know where they come from and I know how good this is going to be and it's just a pleasure to talk to you you me. too Some, somebody from back home thanks for calling uh-huh you take care dear bye 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 you know Stella I'm sitting here looking at this and I I'm looking right here just on the edge of this cracker I mm -hmm. have a whole apple I mean a whole chunk of an apple right I know there. I mean you know I've never seen such fresh fruit just I mean just mm -hmm. piled That's inside right. of like that. the strawberries they're like whole strawberries in here mm -hmm. and this is not real sugary because we've tried to keep the natural flavor in there just as it should be mm -hmm. so it's so fresh that we can uh, mm -hmm. keep the natural flavor as it should be Oh, I've got to have some of this. I tell you, I'm going to have to take this home. I tell you, because, you know, a lot of the guys, a lot of men enjoy homemade. I mean, who has time to do that kind of stuff anymore? I tell you what. And if you want to, you can soak the label off and swear you made it yourself. <laughs>
I'll tell her. You're giving it away. Now, listen, what we're going to do is I'll take, I'll do this, because we still have coming up, we have your uh, syrups coming up right. that are all homemade. Right. Our we have jellies. the mustards coming up right. and the jellies coming right. up. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take a quick phone call. And we'll wrap up the preserves so you can keep dialing because we still have three others that we want to Yeah, you might to. need a drink. I might, yeah. I might. <laughs> of course, I can just keep eating this. You're live. On, oh, my goodness. You're live on the air with Stella Parton. Who's this? This is Nikki, Nicoletta. Hi, Nicoletta. Hi. Oh, Hi. honey, I'm just having the best time eating over here. Yes, and I'm looking at your preserves. They, they seem to be, of what I understand of Chris, they seem to be wonderful. Oh, they're great. I guarantee these. I'm glad you called in. Oh, good, because I want to get all of them. Well, I'm glad you're going to get all of them, and I know you're going to call us back and tell us what you think. Good, good. And I, I hope you keep having them on for a while, because yesterday I tried to get in, but I had some company, and I couldn't, get, you know, I couldn't order. Oh, right. good. So we're glad she was back today for you. Yeah. Well, anyways, I wanted to tell uh, Chris that everything I've gotten from Home Shopping Club is beautiful. Oh, that's great, isn't well, it? Well, see, we always bring you quality things. That's why we we snatched up Stella without even thinking twice. <laughs> well, listen, honey, you well, take care. That's good. Thanks both for of, calling. Both of you have a nice day. All right, dear. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, now, you know what? I do want to point something out, just in case some of you don't understand. This is not 1975 for one of these jars. You're getting 